Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Matt's Finds. I want to thank all my subscribers for the likes, comments, and shares. You guys rock. You're, you're awesome, man. I couldn't ask for more. I want to give a couple of shout outs for some viewer of ours that have local businesses and businesses out there all over the U.S. So let's give a shout out to Gail Moore Schaefer. She owns a little of this and that boutique. You can find them on Facebook, and they are all about the fashion, guys. They have jewelry, they have clothing items, they have amazing stuff, and at prices you can afford. So check them out on Facebook at That's A Little Of This and That Boutique. You can also check out my boy Brad Sioka of Sioka Electric. He's based out of Canton, Ohio. So if we have any Ohio viewers out there that need some electric work done, give Brad Sioka a call. Also, Josh Eubanks with Eubanks Roofing. They're based out of Lyman, South Carolina. They can handle any roofing job you guys have. Nothing's too big, nothing's too small. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured guys. So you can give them a call at 864-485-ROOF. That's Roof. Also want to give a shout out to a viewer of ours named Thomas Desmond with Best Cruise Rates. They are a planning and booking website. You can look them up on Facebook at Best Cruise Rates or you can look them up online at www.bestcruiserates.com. They can save you a ton of money, guys, on your next trip out to sea. So make sure you ask for Thomas Desmond. All right, guys, so moving on to the show. We got some cool stuff that we found over the weekend at some thrift stores. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing, guys. We have found a vintage dock doll from the Snow White and Seven George line. Now, all I can find out about this is that I know it is vintage, and I do know that he's missing a belt and he's missing a hat, and you can see on top where it used to be a hat, and it's, it's now missing, right? But I cannot find a date on this. I can find a thousand pictures of this online all day, but every one of them is, there's no date on it. it, just says vintage. So if you know what year this is from a Walt Disney line made by Beacon, B-I-K-I-N in China, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know the date of this thing. I know it's not worth too much because a brand new one in the box on Amazon, I found going for like, 12 bucks so i know this one's not going to be worth too much but still a cool find out in the wild um uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments guys give you a little closer view of the dock now when i bought this the tag on its foot right here at the thrift store said original grumpy doll and i don't really know my seven george you know so i'm thinking it's grumpy you know and i knew who grumpy was but i, I forgot you know they all look the same to me kind of you know but Whenever I got home and started looking it up, it turns out this isn't Grumpy, this is Doc. So they made a mistake, and of course I fell for it, but still, though, it's still cool. So, all right, so moving on to the next thing, we have found a vintage from 1979. This is a Fisher Price harmonica, as you can see right here. So, some of you guys that was like a kid in 1979, if you ever played with this, let me know down in the comments, right? But uh, this used to be a part of a set called the Fisher Price Marching Band, where the drum was the actual container, and you take the lid off the side of the drum, and it would have like a flute and like some drumsticks and like an xylophone, and this was one of the toys that was inside this harmonica. So it's not a full set, but as you can see, it was half off day because I'd have never gave seven bucks for that. But half off day at the thrift store, so I picked that up um it's not really much else i can tell about this i mean it's in really good condition you would think it would be nastied up and all that but it looks like no one ever played with it the white's still pretty nice and bright and there's no scratches or anything on it and i just left the tag on it because i didn't feel like dealing with the tape but i'll take the tape off right here as we can see when i take the tape off it says it was made in brazil so let me go ahead and take that off. Let's see, yeah, Fisher Price, made in Brazil. We'll clean that up a little bit. So if you collect old vintage Fisher Price toys, let me know down in the comments below. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna play it though, guys. No, I'm not All right, so next up on the list we got, we have found from 1989, a Mattel see and say. This was made in Mexico. And this right here is the ocean version right here, right? Where it has the ocean, it has the forest, it has the desert, it has the jungle. Now, this is that type of model, like, 
the shape and everything was also featured in the original Toy Story movie, right? But it wasn't these um, call names and stuff where these arrows go to. But still, a cool vintage find to find this from 1989. I was like three years old when this came out. I think I believe I remember having this thing. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You pull the thing down. And it still works. These things last forever as long as they don't get taken apart. Usually what happens, people try to take them apart. And the uh, stuff just boing, just blows all over the place. So you never know what's going to happen then. But yeah, it's pretty cool little find. I like it. Um... Let me know down in the comments if you played with one of these when you was a kid because this is pretty cool. We're going to put this up and if you collect stuff like this, give me a shout out down in the comments. Alright guys, so now we have found something really cool. This right here is a replica version of a 1956 Ford Thunderbird limited edition now. This is a Sky Chief gasoline pedal car. And it has a very nice classic paint job. The interior is nice. But you want to know what's really cool about this? Is not only does the steering wheel actually work. Right? But this thing, the pedals actually work. And as you can see right here, it has a rubber belt drive right here, guys. So, it'll actually power the car. It's pretty neat when you put it down and watch it go when you roll it. But, um, man, this is awesome. I love this thing. I found this at a yard sale for a dollar on a table. And to me, it was worth it. I looked it up, and it's going for about 15 bucks. So I can definitely make some money off of this. But if I, stuff like this winds up in my collection because I'm a sucker for classic cars and stuff like that. But this is a cool pedal car. So if you collect stuff like this, I know people collect vintage like scale cars and actual cars and stuff like that. But if you collect even stuff like the little pedal cars like this, let me know down in the comments, guys. All right, so we're going to move on to the next thing we found. I found this at one of those mom and pop thrift stores. Um, I can't remember the name of the place. I wish I did. I'd give them a shout out, but I can't find a date on this one either, guys. But check this out. Isn't this awesome? This is a old Mighty Mouse 16 millimeter film, the headline edition. It's marked number seven, number 774, Mighty Mouse Rides Again. Now, this still has a Sears and Roebuck logo on the front sticker, and the corner is damaged a bit right here, as you can see. But, yeah, this is pretty vintage, and I like how the top of it is, see? All right, cool graphics, man. Anybody that loved uh, Mighty Mouse, or if you love, like, that old vintage cartoon and comic look, this definitely has it. So, um, yeah, the film's inside, actually. But I do not have a 16 millimeter film, so I'm just going to leave it in there, you know. But that's the movie in there. It's pretty cool. Uh, made by Castle Films. But I looked it up all over online, and I found tons of them, but I still couldn't find a date. So if you know how to date these, please let me know in the comments, guys. I need to be more educated about stuff like, like this, because I find more stuff like this in the wild than you would know. But... Half the time, it's already for a really high price. All right, so we got our next thing coming up, guys. We have got some cool cars that we have found at another thrift store. And if you watch my other videos, you'll see where I had a big haul of cars. I went back. Um, I eventually went back and found more cars that that same store had, like I said I was going to do. So let's go ahead and show you what we found. We have found from 1994, this is a Ace Hardware Edition. 1955 Chevy Cameo pickup truck and as you can see it's a 125 scale it's a locking corn bank it's made of die cast and it has rubber tires and it's got the ace logos on the sides and it's got plumbing hardware and paint written at the top of the containers up there in the trucks I think that's really cool I love this because I do plumbing so that's pretty cool I might keep that for myself to put up on my shelf over there and one day, you guys, I might show you my collectible shelf over there, but right now I like keeping my treasures hidden. But, yeah, this is made by Ertl. I want to call them Ertl. If you know a better way to pronounce it, that's all I know is I come across a lot of these cars where the brand is E-R-T-L. So I'm just going to say Ertl. But, yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, car. It's never been opened, and I don't want to open it because I'm sure that retains its value more to a collector out there to not be opened. So we're just going to leave it in its box, guys. I'm going to try to give it a closer view so you can kind of see it a little better out there. 
But with the case being that old, you know, I don't know. You might can see it pretty good. And it's kind of a dark green color. All right, so moving on to the next car we found. Guys. All right, some of you guys love this guy out there. Some of you guys don't love this guy out there. Me, I'm neutral. Leave me out of this, all right? So we have found from 1998 a Hasbro Winter Circle Speed Weeks 99 Series Jeff Gordon, the car and the card. All right, guys, so you can see it's a uh, brand new, never been opened. It's from 1998. Uh, only gave like a dollar for it at a yard sale. Dude wasn't asking much for none of that type of stuff. But yeah, it's got the Chevrolet registered uh, marks on the back, the official NASCAR. It's got a Dale Earnhardt signature on the back. And this was part of a series. This was the winner's circle, Daytona Speed Week. And you could get Dale Earnhardt, Dale Jarrett, Rusty Wallace, Jeremy Mayfield, Kenny Irwin, Bobby Labonte. And you could also get some cool custom series and more to come, they said. But yeah, um, awesome car. So if you like uh, collecting stuff like this, like the Daytona 500 NASCARs and Jeff Gordon and Na just NASCAR in general, let me know down in the comments and we can definitely get this out there to you guys. All right, so the next car that we have is from 2005. This is a Maisto Pro Rods 55 Chevy Nomad. And as you can see, it's a 164 scale. It's brand new, never been opened, and it's from 2005. It's got official Dodge uh, and GM logos on the back. Um, this is in great shape. I love the color of this car, guys. And it's got a opening hood and a detailed engine. So I'm going to try to get that out there for you guys so you can kind of see it a little better. All right, it's never been opened, and we're not going to open it. The packaging is nice and sturdy, so it's in great shape. Uh, looks like it's been storage all its life, and I've had it for about a couple of weeks now. So it's been indoors, so nothing's going to happen to it. So if you collect stuff like this, let me know. So also in the same series, we have found a 62 Chevy Bel Air. And like I said, it's part of the same exact series of Pro Rods, and it's got the same Dodge and GM logos on it. Um, I love these colors, man. These colors are awesome on these cars right here. I, I actually want to paint my 57 Plymouth one of these type of colors like this, but I'm thinking more of a seafoam green color there. But yeah, man, if you like these kind of cars, let me know down in the comments. I'm always picking stuff up like this. I mean, I always find, like collectible cars, I always find collectible toys, I always find collectible, like anything that's collectible, I wanna get it because I know that somebody out there needs this right here to finish their set. And there's another guy out there that needs that other one to finish their set. And that's when that's what this channel is all about, guys. If you need something to finish your collection, let me know. I wanna get these items to the people that really collect this stuff. All right, so let's move on to the next couple of cars that we have found. This one's pretty cool. This is a limited edition 1917 Model T van, Rock Bank, from uh, 1993. This has got the Winn-Dixie logos all over, as you can see. And it was made in Mexico, and this was also by the Ertl Company from Dyersville, Iowa. So, yeah, if you've ever heard of Ertl... Please let me know in the comments. I've never heard of Ertl. I find a lot of stuff, but I just don't know much about it. The paint's not too great on this car. You can see it's starting to kind of chip at the bottom over here on the fender and on top of the cab right there. But, I mean, it's from 1993 and it's an open box. But it doesn't do anything special. It's got the nice Ford emblems on the front grills right here. And it's a bank. It has its key where you can open the port and take it out and unlock and get your money back you know but these are great man a lot of people love collecting these banks so if i find these i don't care what brands on it or whatever i always got to scoop it up so speaking of these cars and it's crazy you got winn dixie because when i was a little kid there was actually a winn dixie store right there in my hometown of duncan and they were the only store around for a while because we had a community cash grocery store right and that that shut down so all we had was when dixie when it opened up well then the next car i'm about to show you moved into town and wound up being their competitor well to this day the competitor that moved into town is still there but when dixie eventually closed down so who do you think that was i'm gonna give you five seconds to guess who who was that competitor five 
four, three, two, one. All right. This was who moved into town and caused a big old stir among everybody. And this right here was this uh, Publix. And as you can see, <coughs> to this day, Publix is still around, but, but uh, Community Cash and Win Dixie both disappeared from this area. So this right here is from 1995 to 1996. It was released in both years, but this is a uh, replica of a 1931 Hawkeye truck. And this is also by Ertl Collectibles. And like I said, it's got the Publix Market logo on it. It's brand new in the box, never been opened and sealed. This is cool. On the back it says, the Hawkeye Truck Company of Sioux City, Iowa started business in 1916 manufacturing the Hawkeye Motor Truck. Models ranged in size from one ton to three and a half tons with a four or six cylinder Buddha or Wisconsin engine. This, with the exception of the hood, earlier models were made of wood and the running gear was purchased, but the frame and other component parts were built in the Sioux City facility. This great American truck was produced until the company closed in 1933 as a casualty of the Great Depression. Our 134 scale Ertl Collectibles diecast metal vehicle is available to you in six different load options. Delivery, tanker, wrecker, stake, and with crates or sacks. Or bottles cases are either corn bank or non-bank versions. Features include shining chrome plated grille, real rubber tires, and durable glossy body paint for years of proud display with the rest of your Ertl Collectibles. And that's awesome, man. See, I've never really heard of the Hawkeye Company, you know, like we've all heard of like Ford and all of that, you know, but it's just like Lincoln, you know, Lincoln's owned by Ford and you got like, you know, like the Mopar was all owned by like GM and Chrysler and all that, you know, it's just like, that's crazy that these could have been trucks of like the 60s and stuff, but like I said, they, they went out during the Great Depression. So that's, that's, that's crazy, man. All right, we got one more car to show you guys. This one right here I found loose in the toys. And I looked at it and I was like, man, it's not just like a, a toy you give your seven-year-old, you know. This was a collectible, so I picked it up. They only wanted 50 cents for it. Only thing I can really find out about it is it's a 132 scale from 2009 and signature models. It's of a 1941 Packard Daring Convertible. Now, it's missing its box, of course. Like I said, I found it in the toy area. But it is missing one fog light on the front right here. And this other fog light is not too good of shape. You know what I mean? And uh, it is missing the front grill right here. I have the grill, but whenever I picked it up, it was already completely broken on one side. And it was about to go. And then by the time I put this in the bag with some other collectibles that I had found... It went ahead and came off. So I can try to super glue it, but I'm probably not going to worry about it right now. It's a pretty cool little car, though. The trunk opens up, as you can see. The doors open up on the sides right here, and let you see inside the interior. And of course, the hood opens up and gives you a view inside the engine. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool car for 50 cents. I know a lot of people have to pay like five bucks for that. At least, see, there went the other headlight. So, yeah um pretty cool car um it's just delicate stuff's just falling off all over it it seems like it seems like a very cheap cheap made car you know i never really get signature models too much i found a couple of them but they were decent you know this one seems real brittle like if you barely touch it on one of these little chrome pieces it's going to fall off so that's going to do it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed the show please be sure to like the video down there below and if you haven't already consider subscribing to the channel we're always finding some awesome stuff and doing cool stuff on the channel from scrap metal art to how-to videos but it's really mainly about the finds so let me know down in the comments if you want to see more collectibles and what what do you collect out there guys everybody collects something even the old man that's always grumpy collects coins or something so let me know down in the comments what you collect have a great day guys and we'll see you next time peace